Hi everybody, welcome back to Collecting Canadian Cavalry and Armor. As you can see, we're looking at something a little bit different. Now, in one of the earlier episodes, we talked about the silks, the, the things that go over the tables, and, you know, scars for your sweetheart and stuff. So this is almost like a second part to that, but we're dealing with pillows that you can get for mom, girlfriend, whatever, to help a reminder just who their, uh, who their loved one is out fighting the war. Now, there's a variety of different types. You've got some that are strictly armored core. You've got some regimental ones. Then we've got a couple that uh, you could buy that said Camp Borden on it because, as we know, that's where the, uh, the tank school was, was located. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, do a, a zoom-in shot so you can get a better look at all the different varieties of these things. Now, these are kind of cool uh, to pick up. You can usually get them for you know, 35 to maybe 50 bucks. You know, there's some dealers that are listing their, their pillowcases for about $100. But if the guy's running a shop, he's got to cover bills too. But that would be about as high as I would pay for one of these. In fact, that would, that would hurt. I'd probably, I would probably feel the pinch in the wallet having to pay that much money. But anyway, like anything else, if you want it, you've got to spend the money. right? And uh, as far as I know... There's no reference material for any of these. Never been able to find anything, just like the silks. It's the kind of thing that uh, the kit shops in, in the different, uh, you know, regimental kit shops or in the Armored Corps school would uh, just get them made locally probably and then sell them to the guys and then change things around a little bit. So let's take a look at some of these individual ones and I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start off with this pillow here. This is an interesting one. Obviously, this is Canada Tank Corps. I don't forget, in 1936 when they formed the Corps, it was the Canadian Armored Corps. Could this be a First World War pillow? I really don't know. But it's kind of neat. Uh, very uh, nice Mark IV, Mark V looking tank on here. Uh, it's a uh, male, you see, because it's got the one gun on it. But it's a uh, very interesting pillow. I'm so glad that I was able to, to uh, get this uh, to add to my collection. So this is probably the oldest one that I have. Uh, Again, you see the, the fringes, uh, the fringes, this stuff here. It's got the, the colors of the core, uh, the earlier one, you know, with some uh, brown, supposed to be brown, green, and, uh, and yellow, but it's kind of faded, the, brown, the green's faded to blue a little bit, but it doesn't take away from the awesomeness of this pillow. So we have over here some of the ones from the Canadian Armored Corps. You can see the badge, you know, that we're very familiar with. And this one happens to have the model through the mud and the blood to the green fields beyond. Nice black one. And again, the fringes are the same uh, as the last one that we just looked at. <coughs> um, nice. I just really like it. It's, uh, and then this is number three, Canadian Army uh, Training Regiment. Canadian Army Corps Training Regiment. Very cool. You get them when you, it's nice when you can get them to specific units. And we'll cover some regimental ones in a little bit. So we come over here to a nice blue one. Okay. And again, we have, uh, for some reason, purple and yellow fringes. I don't know who came up with the colors. Uh, and again, we have the model, but kind of like on the shoulder title here. Again, the core badge with the flags. This seems to be a very common uh, theme. With different colors and that type of thing just kind of makes it interesting for when you're collecting here same type of thing canadian armored corps red with the green badge and then we have the green and red f uh, fringes again just kind of another another example here we'll go through a, a few of these things because they seem to go a little crazy when i buy stuff <coughs> another one nice one again purple and, and yellow fringes Again, with the badge and the uh, the model of the core. You see, each one is a little bit different, which kind of makes it uh, interesting for when you're collecting the stuff. Now, for those of you who, I hope all of you, have watched the one on the silks, this is a matching pillow to, the, to that green-colored one. I'm sure you remember from the last one. And again, you, you, know, you can have this with uh, the silk thing running over the couch arm or the, on a nearby table. Get the whole ensemble. I'm sure mom would really like that. Or did. <clears throat> okay. Well, this one we'll get to in a minute. Because that one's kind of interesting. So we have this one here. Again, Canadian Armored Corps. You see the same uh, kind of motif. 
right? See the same motif with the you know the flags and the badge in the middle, but it just depends on I guess uh, how Mom's decorated her room. If she likes purple, blue, whatever. Now we have this one here in white. You don't usually find the Armored Corps stuff in white. Usually the Air Force guys they stay cleaner. But again, nice one. No model, no no core thing. It's all a little bit different, which is kind of cool. That makes it gives you lots of different stuff to collect. Now we have this one here. And you'll notice the motifs here, right? You have the Jeep, the tank, the badge, guy on a motorcycle, and this little sign right here, Canadian Armored Corps. Now we also have this one. Exactly the same. This is Camp Borden on it. So I'm kind of thinking that somebody was really thinking that uh, just change one little thing, be able to sell two with the same design. And then we also have this one here from Camp Borden. But this one, you know, see the Armored Corps badge, We've got the, uh, the tank, the motorcycle, and uh, a neat little poem here about friendship. So maybe that was for the guy's girlfriend. Maybe. So, <clears throat> after that, oh, speaking of core stuff, picked this one up from Vince in Wallaceburg. Again, Vince, thanks so much for this one. Nice thing about this is after the war, just don't forget, they changed the badge around 47, I think it was, and they went, they went to the mailed fifth, and you can see the king's crown here. So this would, would have been in use from about 46 to uh, uh, when the queen ascended the throne in 52. Again, kind of neat, and it's got the, the yellow with, or the gold with the red, which is the colors of the core. <clears throat> okay, now, what we can look at is some regimental ones. Okay, one near and dear to my heart, Essex Regiment Tank, 30th Recce in World War II, forerunner of the Windsor Regiment, the guys that I served with. Great unit, fantastic unit, you should buy the history book, I'm just saying. Lots of good stuff in there. We also have another one that's kind of uh, kind of neat. We looked at Second Tenth Dragoons before, so here's one for those guys, right? And we know that uh, they are no longer with us. They became an artillery unit, right? But uh, very nice. To try to get a uh, pillow from those guys. Very lucky. Now we've got this one here, and you'll notice it's the same pattern. Very faded, and upside down. Very faded, right? But the badge is from the 16th, 22nd uh, Light Horse from out in Saskatchewan, right? And of course, and these guys, of course, they're gone as, as well. But you can see, again, somebody, basically the same motive, motif. <clears throat> but it'd uh, be nice if it wasn't quite as faded, but these things happen, right? So <coughs> I'm sure that my lovely supportive wife would say that I've had enough of these. And she'd be right, but it's part of the collecting bug, right? So if you can start picking up neat regimental ones, they're very good. Now, these ones are harder to find, uh, admittedly. They're harder to find, so they usually demand a little bit more money, but still, very cool things. And again, you have to use your imagination to try to display these things, unless you have an extremely cool wife who lets you put all the stuff in the living room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now... The things with, with these pillows, um, I, like I said, I have a very supportive wife. But not to the point where she's going to let me keep these things out here on the couch. Not going to work that way. So how do you display these things? Well, you, you know, if you have a couch or, or you know, a big chair or something in your uh, collecting room, you can always stuff them. You, know, you can pick up the insert, inserts, uh, the little pillows at Walmart. They're fairly cheap. You know, and it makes the things look really good. Or... As in the case, you know, if they're flat, you pick some of your favorite ones and uh, frame them and hang them on the wall. Of course, you're going to have all your uh, framed badges on the wall. You're going to have artwork on the wall. So I hope you have a big space to display this stuff. Uh, again, it's cool. Armored core stuff. Uh, going to have to be uh, very imaginative when you get around to displaying it. Or just pull them out every once in a while when you want to show somebody. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy collecting.